All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another review by Projects. Again, today with you, I'm Psycho, and in this part, I'm going to be reviewing Saints Row 2, the second game in the Saints Row series um, that was released after the first part came out. So, let's just get onto it. Um, as far as the story of the Saints Row 2 goes, it continues the events from the first part. Um, because in the first part, the Saints Row was destroyed by an earthquake and everything, and your whole gang um, went divided into into throughout the city with the appearance of three new major gangs in the city: the Japanese, the Haitians, and if I'm not mistaken, a biker gang from from which you have to to kind of get your gang members and protect them from them. So. It's been a while since I played this game, so the story isn't... I don't really know the story that well, but it's still an awesome story um, for an open world game. It has kind of a Tarantino feel to it with, um, <coughs> with some elements of Pulp Fiction and Kill Bill to, to go with it. Um, it kind of resembles those two movies. So if you like Tarantino, it's a great game to play. It's pretty. The story is pretty much hilarious throughout the whole game and epic as well. It's a really great game to play, um, especially because of the storyline. It's funny. It's epic. It's um, it takes a while to complete actually, but it is awesome. I recommend it to all of you guys seriously. As far as the graphics go, as you can see. Um, it's an open world game and everything, so the graphics aren't really that detailed, but um, for the time when it came out, the graphics were pretty much awesome. It's it's quite an old game though, um, so those, so the graphics are a bit, a bit crappy um, if we compare them to the games today and everything, but, uh, but the story and everything makes up for it, seriously. Um, so yeah. As far as the gameplay goes, it's an open world game with a customizable character and everything. Um, you have to earn respect to... the respect system was introduced in this game. So you have to earn respect to get to go... to get to proceed with the... with the story, unlock new missions and... Um, go on with the story to pretty much complete the game. You can earn the... you can earn respect by completing side quests and everything. And there is a lot of side quests, and um, since it's a really long game okay. and everything, there are a lot of side quests to do, and the main quest is actually quite long, so it's gonna take some time off your hands if you if you like open world games, if you like hilarious games and everything, it is really awesome. The game also introduced a multiplayer mode. Um, in which you can do a co-op with a partner and you can both do the same quests and explore around the world if you want to and pretty much um, get to know all the hilarious stuff and all the characters and everything um, with your buddy which is really awesome if you if you play it in in I'm in a multiplayer mode I used to play it in the multiplayer mode and it was freaking hilarious so um, that's gonna be pretty much all from my side. Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment on the videos, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.